Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the infinitive endurance and also the use and the rules. Infinitive endurance. So what is the difference between infinitive endurance? We use infinitive to talk about the action when it is in the purpose. I mean you keen to do, you want to do it. And we use the gerund is to talk about the leisure activity or sports. So I'm going to show you two sentences and which one is correct. Sentence number one, we like to fish. Sentence number two, we like fishing. So what is different? And which one is correct? So these two sentences are correct, none is incorrect, but the sense and the meaning of each sentence is different. So sentence number one, we like to fish, it means we intend to fish one day. We want to fish, we will go to fish. But when we talk about we like fishing, is to talk about the habit, is to talk about the hobby, is to talk about something that you want to do in your free time. Gerund rules. So as you know that gerund is the verb combination between ing. It's the rule and the use. A gerund is a base verb form plus ing to function as noun, sentence complement, or subject of a sentence. Do not confuse it with a present participle or derivative adjective. Gerund use. We use gerund as a noun. We love fishing. So fish here function as a noun and we use the word fishing to complete the sentence. Or we can use gerund as the sentence complement. With his cooking class is a sentence complement. Subject. Gerund sometimes can be used as a subject. Smoking cigarettes is bad for health. Or we use gerund as the present participle or present continuous. So look at this sentence. She is teaching English. So now she is teaching English to talk about the action that she is doing right now. And the last one we use gerund as a derivative adjective. It means we use to describe the noun. So in the sentence, the word forest is a noun and burning function as an adjective. Gerund use one. Some verbs must add ing after preposition. Example number one. We are sorry for doing this work late. Example number two, we are here for helping you all. Gerund use two. We add ing to simple verbs after the following words. So now we hear some common verbs that we use with the gerund. We have the word admit, appreciate, avoid, deny, discuss, dislike, imagine, keep, miss, quit, recall, and resist. But you have to remember that we still have a lot more words that we use with gerund, but what I bring here is only the common verb. Look at the example. Please avoid making this mistake again. He denies telling the truth to me. They quit working on the project. She dislikes telling a lie. They admit working over time. Infinitive. Use one and example. Infinitive has a form of two plus best form verb. We always use two, even two is not used or two does not show any meaning. We plan to visit on the word temple. So in this sentence, to visit is an infinitive. And we cannot use this sentence as a gerund. For example, we cannot say we plan visiting on the word temple. Go more for deeper explanation. Infinitive and its kind. And when we use infinitive, we think about four points. We think that infinitive as word mean, as a phrase to mean, clause to meet you, and sentence and please to meet you. Infinitives and bare infinitives. What is the difference? Look at the example and use. Most infinitive begin with two. We call it two infinitive. Example, they allow the children to leave first. So to leave first is the two infinitive. And the next one, an infinitive without two is called a bare infinitive. They let the children leave first. 
So live here is a bare infinitive. Why? Because we do not use with to. And we have some common infinitive in English. We have agree, ask, beg, decide, expect, fail, need, offer, plan, refuse, venture, and want. Example, we agree to meet him again. They need to revise this document. He expects to go before the deadline. You want to leave now. And thank you very much for watching this lesson. And I hope you learned something from this lesson. And if you have any question, please comment below and I will try to explain you more. Thank you very much.